my feet are killing me. Why do I have to wear heels for these gigs? It's not like they show off my shapely calves. Nothing but bones down there now. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. This standing around all the time has given me bone spurs. <sighs> yeah, I know. I feel it in my knees. That's it. I've had enough of your ableist, full-body privilege. Have you ever thought about what it's like to be me? Pardon me. I'm feeling ill. Yeah, well, every time I felt ill, they just cut another piece out of my body. Now look at me. If you head into the podiatrist's office to complain about those bone spurs and see what happens, you'll end up just like me. When for a time selected me, they got an appendectomy. Then at the request of my new wife, they gave me a vasectomy and then a quick lobotomy. I spent a lot of time under the knife. Inside my dressing gown I boiled my funny bone down the other day. Why would you do that, Mr. Head? To make a laughing stock. You see that? You see what I did there? That's funny. That's humorous. Oh, I did it again. Humorous like funny. No, I'm going with not so much like funny. I can recall my Some of us were left with just a head. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fonder of all my bones. I know that fundamentally there isn't too much left of me. When you add so many parts exciting, you might feel a bit compromised. Well, yes, yeah, I do. I should quit while I'm ahead. Ta-da! Oh, I see now. Well, I guess I can live, so to speak, with my foot issues. Yeah, you know, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Uh, nothing to complain about, considering. That's more like it. Now take your bone spur nonsense and stop being a snowflake. And as for your heels, Cindy... I still don't see why I have to wear them. But it looks like I'm stuck with at least one heel, no matter what. Hey, 